What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. I have a feeling that today is gonna be an amazing day. Do you know why? Why? Because for the first time in over one year, I have made it to the promised land. I made it to Chick-fil-A in time for breakfast. They stopped serving breakfast at 10.30. It's 10.31. We made it. Mm, mm, mm. The go-to breakfast order, of course, the chicken burrito with a bunch of their jalapeno sauce. So this is delicious, as well as a bunch of hash browns, baby. So how will you show them your order? Just a coffee and maybe a few of your hash browns. Oh, okay, you can have one. <laughs> For the longest time, everything I did in my life was done so that I would not look bad to other people. Like, sure, I was afraid of getting rejected by girls, but I was even more afraid that other people would see it and then that would be very embarrassing or that my friends would find out and then I wouldn't look as cool. Like, they would know I got turned down by a girl. For a long time, I wanted to upload YouTube videos, but I was afraid that my friends or people from my past in high school or college would see the videos and be like, wow, David is a tool. And that just, that killed me inside, man. Even at bars or parties, I would never go on the dance floor and dance because I was afraid I might look bad and then I would just sit in the corner and not do anything. This is all what I would consider my nice guy phase of life. And when I say nice guy, I'm not talking about being a friendly person who wants the best for other people. That just means that like, you're a decent fucking person. I mean that I would do anything to avoid rocking the boat. And this is what causes you to talk to a girl and have a crush on her for three years, even though she's clearly put you in the friend zone, but you're afraid that if you stop talking to her, it might make you look like you're you're not a friendly person. She might not like you. Or it's what causes you to, to never have that conversation with your boss to, you know, how do I get a raise? How do I make more money? Or he's always asking you to work overtime and you never say no because you're afraid that if you ask for a raise or if you say no to him, that he might not like you as much. So if this sounds kind of like the mindset you have or some of the tendencies you have, like I can tell you from experience, this is gonna completely paralyze your ability to make progress with your dating life or your career with everything. And that's why today I wanna share a few techniques I've used to just completely kill that inner nice guy. on the backflip journey today if y'all remember last week i finally got trained up so i could stop doing that weird twist thing i do i was able to land a flip many times off of a slight elevation it's easy for me to do it in the pool we're trying to get to that next level and get consistent landing it just on like flat ground not nauseous this time still, still exhausted but this is essentially flat ground but with like a forgiving surface so we're trying to nail this Thank you to Tim for helping me out today. Once we get the backflip down, you think I can learn a gainer? Definitely. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and try one, as, as long as I don't get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> There's that upside down. Yep. <laughs> There's that upside down landing. Do you know something that's even cooler than backflips? Having great skin. And that's why I decided to partner with Tiege Hanley to be the sponsor of today's video. In case you're unaware, Tiege Hanley is straight up the best skincare system out there for men like you and me because, well, like they say, it's uncomplicated skincare for men. It's easy, it works. If you sign up, you're gonna get a box just like this that contains a variety of different creams and lotions that have been formulated specifically to work together and give you clear, healthy skin that makes you look better. That's gonna boost your confidence. For example, their new Eucalyptus Body Wash is straight fire, already my favorite body wash by far. They got their daily face wash, use this every day, the AM and PM moisturizer and a bunch of other good stuff. And the best part is all of these products are made with top of the line ingredients like lavender, vitamin B3, collagen, eucalyptus, which would normally cost you a lot, but because T. Hanley sells directly to the consumer, they're able to offer it for a super affordable price. And because they are sponsoring the video today, if you click that first link down in description, you're gonna get the best possible price on your first box of T. Hanley. And right now, they're also throwing in a free gift. What are you waiting for? Click that link, check it out. The most important thing I did to stop being a nice guy was I stopped hiding from the pain. You know the pain when 
you miss an opportunity with a girl you really like, or something happens and you don't stand up for yourself, then you go home and you start regretting it. But then what I would do is I'd always go and hang out with my friends so I wouldn't have to think about it. We'd smoke up or get drunk or play video games, anything to not have to like consciously contemplate these things. But then when I graduated and I was living in my first apartment by myself, I was forced to be alone. And that's the first time that I really started letting this pain sink in and I started thinking about all the opportunities in the past that I had messed up. And something that can be even more powerful to do is to future project. What is your life gonna look like in five years or 10 years if you don't make any changes? And I started realizing, man, I'm gonna be in my 30s, lonely, still not able to talk to women. I'm gonna be following this career path that I don't even really care about just because it's what my parents and other people you know, think is successful and they think it's what I should do. And when you start to think about all these things, it, it can become like an overwhelming amount of pain. And yeah, you know, in the moment, you're gonna feel shitty. You're not gonna feel good. But just like sit there and don't hide from it. And what you need to do is take all of this pain and transform from the nice guy mindset to what I like to call the I don't give a fuck mindset. Tell yourself, I don't give a fuck how many girls turn me down and how many people know about it. I'm no longer going to be the nice guy who's too afraid to ask and just watch all the other guys get the girls. When I started telling myself this, this is when I went on that tear and started approaching girls like a madman. Got rejected a lot, but then guess what? I got a lot of dates, a lot of hookups. Tell yourself, I don't give a fuck what my parents or my friends think I should be doing with my career. I'm going to do what I think is cool. That's when I quit my job and set myself on the path that I'm on now. Seriously, look in the mirror and tell yourself with that powerful F word, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do me. I'm done. I'm not going back to that pain. I'm done being the nice guy who lives silently in pain. And whenever you catch yourself thinking, I'll, I'll just ask her out next time, or oh, I'll just, I'm not going to talk to my boss about that today. Remind yourself, that's not who you are anymore. If you go down that path, it's just leading to more and more pain. It's not an option. Workout complete. Quick tip if you're someone who feels like you're struggling to grow your biceps or during your arm workouts, you're not feeling your biceps getting worked. Great exercise is what I was just doing, a three down curl, where essentially you're doing a curl on normal on the way up, on the way down, one, two, three. Slow, up, one, two, three. And what I want you to focus on is keeping your elbow locked in place directly below your shoulder. So the whole time on the way up, the whole time on the way down, stays there you're probably gonna want to go like five to ten pounds lighter than your normal dumbbell curls by the end of your set your biceps should be completely on fire it should really help you activate that mind muscle connection make more gains and of course the beastly app is packed with exercises like this to really help you activate the different muscles in your body properly and make more gains link in description to try it out So at first, I think that the I don't give a fuck mindset is absolutely needed to help you overcome all the nice guy tendencies. And that mindset carried me for two or three years with, with women, with YouTube, with everything. But eventually you get to a point where you've developed the right habits. And when you're in situations where in the past you might crumble because of fear of judgment, now you always rise to the occasion, you do the right thing. Then I started to realize being motivated because I don't give a fuck about other people, it's still meaning that I'm doing things because of other people. I'm trying to prove other people wrong and show other people that I'm strong now, I'm no longer weak. And in itself, that's a bit weak if you think of it. So over the last few years, I've been trying to evolve to the point where I'm genuinely indifferent to what other people think. If someone thinks I'm a loser and they look down on me, so be it. If someone praises me and looks up to me, you know, so be it. And I really think that's like the ultimate self-confidence goal, to be at this point where, you know, I'm just doing things that I'm motivated to do because I think they're cool things. And, you know, obviously you wanna be doing things that, that help the general health and well-being of other people because you wanna be a decent person like we talked about, but you're almost like in a vacuum just working, you know, focused on your own actions, focusing on what the next steps are for you, regardless of other people. And a few things you can do to help get to this point are, first of all, when you notice that you're in like an argument with, with another man, whether it's about politics or, you know, fitness, arguing about calories in, calories out, and the post-workout anabolic window, or you're arguing about, you know, the, the nature of females or whatever it is, uh, 
and you notice that it's getting to this point where there's a little animosity between the person you're arguing with you know always be the person that says hey look you know I don't think we're, we're about to agree on this right now we can agree to disagree because not only does that de-escalate the situation but you're removing yourself you don't need the validation of being the person who had the, the last word and being right you're just like you know it's all good doesn't matter also i made a point to stop sharing my wins with other people unless they ask about them you know you know you just hooked up with a girl last night you're texting this really hot girl you know cool bro oh you just traveled to the coolest country you got this really cool job you started this business cool bro that's awesome you know be proud of it for yourself but don't need don't need to tell everyone you meet in order to get that validation you know let them find out about it and if they don't who cares and a really big one this is with girls get good at letting girls go this might be the most important dating skill that if you're talking to a girl and she says she has a boyfriend or she's like just not really that interested in the conversation just move on if you're texting a girl and she you know she's being vague about you trying to set up the first date be okay with moving on because if you're always motivated by the pain a lot of times you're gonna get focused on trying to you know win a girl over and not only is that gonna make you needy and the girl's likely gonna lose attraction for you but it's about yourself it's about not needing each girl you talk to to like you being okay with letting girls go let them move on let them do their own thing when a girl's into you cool capitalize on the situation but if not who cares you don't need her approval you don't need her to be attracted to you and funny thing is when you do this a lot of girls become more attracted to you because they sense that you don't need them but get good at letting girls go anyway bro i hope that all of that made sense those are my best thoughts on how to kill your inner nice guy if you made it to the end of the video please hit the thumbs up button it helps the channel if you're new to the channel go ahead click subscribe and turn notifications on because i do drop two new videos every single week and you do not want to miss them i will talk to all of y'all in the next video stay beastly